Hello and welcome to the Philippines. Uh, the news this morning is that uh, just in the last few hours, a 7.0 earthquake has hit the northern portion of the island of Luzon in the Philippines. They're just just starting to get some data, uh, some information from that. Very few pictures or videos out of that area yet. Uh, there is a, a, a one video I found on Facebook of uh, a church steeple tower uh, with parts falling off of it. I've seen a couple of pictures of building damage there. Uh, anyway, there's a lot more information to come. I've heard that uh, one construction wor worker uh, was killed as of this point, but uh, there's a lot uh, to find out still as they start searching through what is a earthquake zone at the present time. In this video, I'm going to offer some links to some information about this particular uh, this particular uh, earthquake, as well as uh, some reference material for you to use for future earthquakes and uh, risk prevention, as well as uh, risk maps for the Philippines, sources for that. So stick with me if you can, because I've, I've got over a thousand videos up. I've done a lot of videos about housing, rentals, um, cost of living, travel videos as well. So if you'd be so kind as to uh, do a thumbs up if you find these videos helpful. And subscribe also. Many of the viewers are not subscribed yet. About one day ago I received an alert of the uptick probability of earthquakes in, in, in the world on this earth and uh, some of the information that came out I, I watched a couple sites one is called uh, quakewatch.net and uh, they're tied with suspiciousobservers.org anyway this was uh, I took this this uh, picture off of their site the magnitude 6 earthquakes average three per week in the world and we've had none in the last 10 days uh, M7 earthquakes, one every seven, uh, 20 days. We've had none for 60 days. So there's a number of factors that uh, increase the risk of earthquakes. Um, atmospheric pressure as well as uh, tectonic plate movements, uh, as well as solar energy. And we'll get into that a little bit later as well. Jumping over to USGS, Geolog US Geological Service, and uh, over here on the uh, left you have the various earthquakes that have happened, um, magnitude and the newest first, you can change that. Uh, you've got a number of options over here. Anyway, these are earthquakes that have happened, I think, in the past, uh, past day, over 2.5, and you can uh, change that. Uh, so that you're not getting the smaller ones as well. But let's zoom in here. Here's the Philippines right here. So it's in northern Luzon. This is Luzon Island. Here you have the Visayas and you have Mindanao Island down here it's at the north tip. Now it's something of, of interest. These are, this is the Batanes, the Batanes Islands up here. And uh, here in the last year or two, they had a major earthquake as well did some major damage to uh, some buildings up there. Jumping over to this site, emsc-csem.org. Uh, They've got a an app that you can download on your phone called Last Quake, and I've got it on my phone. Anyway, down here, they've got uh, Euro Mediterranean earthquakes, and they have, uh, as you can see, listed in red and uh, in the last 24 hours and they have worldwide links here and there's the worldwide and here we are in the Philippines over here of course the US Canada anyway let's click on that and see what it brings up who's on Philippines 1.1 and they have additional information here as well jumping over to tsunami noaa.gov site and this is uh, these are this tsunami alerts that they put out. Detection. This is the type of buoy that are scattered out over the ocean. Give you some information there. Jumping over to NOAA's National Weather Service U.S. Tsunami Warning System. Uh, presently, no tsunami warning advisory watch or threat. 
Um, here again, this is Luzon. Depth was nine miles. They've dropped the magnitude down to 6.8. I've seen it at seven. I've seen it at 7.1. And that's where it's located. Northern Luzon. Jumping over to the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology, and Philvolks, as it's called, has a number of uh, information things here, hazard maps, information, and we go down here, and I clicked on this earthquake information, and it said uh, error, can't reach this site, so. Uh, fault finder, you want to know if you should build on that crack in the ground? Fault finder, hazard hunter, uh, Valley Fault System Atlas, um, how safe is my house, lava information. So they've got a fair amount of information here worth checking out. And there's another app I use on my phone uh, called Volcanoes and Earthquakes. And they've, they come off, I think this is the same site basically, volcanodiscovery.com. And uh, they, you can check it out by... You can check it out by area of the world, latest earthquakes, and they've got some information about how many earthquakes have happened here uh, in the Philippines, and 7.0 Dolores, Philippines. Read user reports. And suddenly it's shaking. I was sitting on the bed when it started shaking. It was a little difficult to keep balance while walking out of the room. I have felt it while I'm working on my computer then I look at my windows, all the wires hanging, they're shaking. So here's a picture apparently from people going out into the street, getting out of buildings. Vegan City, still happening at, with aftershocks. Uh, the ceiling uh, moving felt like Mag 7. It was weak at first, then it got a little bit strong. Here's a map from Phil Volks, and here again we're at Northern Luzon Island and uh, the Batines Islands up here. I'm not sure what all's included in that group. Um, anyway, Vegan City is a very popular tourist spot, uh, kind of with Spanish architecture is my understanding. I have not been there yet myself. And here's destructive earthquakes in the Philippines. Um, interesting, Davao del Sur. Uh, 6.9 in 2019, Carabato, uh, Batanes, this is the one I was talking about earlier, Batanes Islands up, up there, um, Central Luzon, Leyte Earthquake 2017, Surgao del, del Norte, Mindanao, Bahol Earthquake 2013. Uh, did some major damage, even did just a little bit of damage over here in Cebu City as well. That gives you a little bit of a uh, Luzon earthquake, 1990, a very large, 7.8. Panay earthquake, Log, Laog earthquake, Moro Gulf earthquake, 8.1 down south. Jumping over to the National Data Buoy Center. And the website is ndbc.noaa.gov. N -O -A -A and anyway, number of uh, historical data, number of different uh, uh, filters here to go down. But let's go down here. Let's go down here and you have the, the Philippines is right here. Got China here, Vietnam over here, and this is the Philippines. Um, and you've got these boys here bouncing around, but uh, they say there is no, is that related to the earthquake or not? And you click on that, gives you a little bit information about the, uh, the height and uh, blue is 15 minutes, one minute, 15 seconds. So I don't know if they're related or not. Now these red ones, my understanding is they, uh, I don't know if they're inactive, I don't know. They have not provided any data, I think in the last eight hours. 
Have they been turned off? Are they inactive? Have there just been no events big enough to trigger them automatically? Don't know what that's about. But apparently there are no sensors out here uh, on the west side of the Philippines. So we don't know with the earthquake happening right up out up in here. We don't know if there's any uh, tsunami going this direction. And I've zoomed in here a bit. There again, uh, you see where these those buoys are, these two going off. Here's Manila. The earthquake was right up in this section right up here. And so we don't know, as far as I know, we don't know if there's any tsunami going out this direction. That would affect a number of islands out here in the South China Sea, as well as uh, China up here, uh, I think that's Hainan Island. Yeah, Hainan Island, Vietnam. As long as I have that up, I don't see anything else going off anywhere either. Lots of new science telling us things like weird electromagnetic bursts appear before earthquakes, and we finally may know why. Investigation of the relationship among fault types earthquake fault types, focal depths, and ionospheric TEC anomalies before large earthquakes before between 2000 and 2020. Lots of studies going on uh, tying earthquakes to uh, magnetic, uh, electromagnetic events in the high atmosphere. Ionospheric total electron content anomaly, possibly associated with, associated with the April 4th, 2010 magnitude 7.2 Baja California earthquake. So lots and lots of studies going on, more and more scientists uh, uh, climbing on to this, this attempt to start uh, predicting earthquakes ahead of time. And here's a site you might want to check out, quakewatch.net. Earthquake Prediction Center tells you how a little bit about uh, earthquakes and uh, about the various factors, including the sun, the energy coming from the sun. Sun blasts us with various types of energy and has a major effect on earthquakes, has a major effect on our health, physical and mental health, uh, as well as climate and storms across the world. Very interesting information there. Suspicious observers, uh, over 600,000 enthusiasts co cooperating to get results. And you can uh, make an account over here. They've got premium content. Uh, space weather news, very inter interesting information. They have uh, hundreds of videos out on various things, how the space weather affects uh, your health Mentally, physically, uh, climate and weather on Earth, earthquakes, uh, quakewatch.net, a um, number of different things, free resources. They have books that uh, I bought a number of their books. Um, Weatherman's Guide to the Sun, very interesting book. And they have a number of videos, free videos. Here's that book here. You can buy it PDF form, which I did. I didn't want to pay for shipping a full book, although I prefer uh, a book in my hand and all, all sorts of different different climate forcing how the sun affects the weather and climate here on earth just really a lot of in, in, interesting very interesting number one risk the earth and you'll be interested to find out what that is they have a youtube channel as well called suspicious observers there's lots of information out there uh, concerning a lot of this uh, for those who are actually interested and in correlations between uh, space weather, space energies hitting Earth and uh, other things going on here at Earth in regards to earthquakes, even typhoons and hurricanes and storm systems during large uh, sun bursts of energy we'll see many more storms in the Atlantic and the Pacific where you might normally have one or two. Um, I've seen the cases where there have been three or four, one storm after another uh, being generated uh, off the coast of, of Africa because of what was happening with the sun. Anyway, uh, there, there's a lot that's gonna be coming out in the coming uh, day or two or week about the 
a 7.0 earthquake up in northern Luzon, north of Manila. Uh, but that's all the information I have at this point in time. Anyway, stay safe, stay healthy, and hopefully we can all travel freely again soon. See you next time.